Hi, and welcome back to the Lock Run Clock for Week 14. We're going to go 3 0 against the spread this week. And we're going to start off with a 1 o'clock lock, which features Atlanta going to Green Bay. Both these teams, uh, when we looked at this, this particular matchup on schedule, would think, wow, this is going to be a great game. Unfortunately, it's not. But it might be an offensive game for both teams. With uh, Mike Holmgren now gone, uh, Phil is going to take over the, the offense at the commands there. They should be able to um, be able to move the ball a little bit better. I think the big problem was uh, Aaron Rodgers felt as if he didn't have enough control of the offense. The plays that they were running were just getting stale. Let's face it, the defense was on the field a lot, and they just weren't able to put up the points. There was no system there. Everything looked like it was a scramble. No, no real plays that they were able to move the ball downfield like they used to be able to. Um, Atlanta, on the other hand, they're just getting healthy again. They're getting healthy again on defense a little bit. Not that the defense was that great, but offensively, this should be a good game for Atlanta to go, even on the road, to get out there and play against the Green Bay Packer team. That's defense isn't that great. Um, I look for both of these teams to get offensively going. I look for the total in this game to go over the 49 and a half. That is the one o'clock lock, the over in the Atlanta Green Bay game. Uh, onto the four o'clock lock, we have the Detroit Lions traveling out to Arizona. Now, Arizona has been pretty much a mess. Not that Detroit's been that great either, but their defense is finally coming around Detroit. And let's face it, Arizona doesn't have much offense other than David Johnson. And I think in my, my mind, from what I've been seeing with Detroit uh, in the last few weeks, they should be able to just kind of put the screws down to this Arizona offense. Look for Detroit, who are only given two and a half in this game. Look for them to win by double digits. That's the 4 o'clock lock, Detroit over Arizona. On to the 8 o'clock lock, the big game of the day. The L.A. Rams traveling to Chi-Town to meet up with the Bears. Look, this is a great game. Uh, even though the Bears kind of came up with a goose egg eh, against the Giants, they were on the road. They didn't have Trubisky at quarterback. It definitely looked as if they were struggling a little bit to get the offense going. The Giants had just enough in the bag. And look, it was a tight game. It was a tough game. Not a big deal for them to have lost that. Look for them to rebound coming at home uh, with Trubisky, with Mack. This defense, the offense should be going uh, well against this um, this L.A. Rams front seven who really, they just haven't looked all that great, uh, especially in the back end. They will get Tlaib back this week. I don't know how much of a, a boost that's going to be after the time he's been off. Uh, but Trubisky back on their center. The Bears at home. Look for them to keep the offense of the Rams off the field. Gurley's a little bit banged up right now. I look for the Chicago defense to come to the rise here. Chicago is getting three points in this game. Look for the Bears to cover this game. Win it outright. That is the 8 o'clock lock. Till next week when we go 3-0. Take it to the book. Take it to the bank. And as always, you take it east. And don't forget to check me out. Friday night, 6 o'clock, NFL channel. I'll be sitting in the audience at the Kyle Brandt NFL Experience. Check it out. It's a great show too, by the way. Talk to you soon. Take it easy.